two of uh, preparing a Dover sole, a la Meniere style, which is a classical preparation. Uh, in the first part, we showed you how to fabricate the Dover sole and get it prepared. And now we're going to actually prepare the recipe. This is an excellent recipe and it's very, very, when you eat this, it, it's unbelievable. It's just a great preparation. It's one of my favorite of all dishes. Okay? And the beauty is it's, other than filleting the fish, it's, or fabricating the fish, it's very simple. We, has, we have a little salt, which you don't have to use. Uh, and we have chopped parsley that's very fine, almost like sawdust. Okay, that's important. We have fresh lemon juice, could be other kind of lemon juice if you want it. And we have clarified butter. You can clarify your own butter, but the reason why we clarify it, it removes the excess water and the, and the milk solids that are in there, which means it has a higher smoke uh, point like oil does. It, regular butter, if you leave it on the stove too long, it will turn brown and start to smoke. It breaks down very quickly. But clarified butter uh, allows you a little more time in the cooking process before that happens. Now part of this recipe is called uh, Dover sole a la manure is because manure kind of translates a couple different ways. One of them is it translates into the miller's wife, which the miller was the person who refined the flour. And it also is, you're kind of browning the butter a little bit, okay? And so that, that's important. So, as I said in the, in the last video, it's important to have a nice skillet. It's also important to make sure the skillet is hot to expand those molecules to keep the fish from sticking uh, as easily. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to I'm going to put a little bit of we're going to have a little flour here and I'm going to put that in the pan and I'm going to sprinkle just a little salt on it. You don't have to do this uh, and just a little bit, okay? And then I'm going to uh, again if you're reading this you don't have to put gloves on. I'm doing it because I don't want to have to. It's easier to clean my hands, okay? So. I'm just going to pat that flour on. I'm not, it's not going to be like a real fried fish. It's not fried, it's sauteed. Saute means to jump in the pan. Use very high heat and you don't have it in too long. Okay? So we've got it pretty well floured up there. So we've got the skillet hot. I'm going to put a little bit of oil or clarified butter in the skillet. I've got to put a little bit more than I normally would because the skillet's bigger than now that oil is, uh, we want the oil to get hot, that oil, uh, and it's starting to get hot, so you can see that. So we're going to put the fish in, hear that sizzle, if you don't hear that sizzle, your pan's not hot enough. And we're going to let it sit there for a minute, and we're going to I'm doing this, see how the fish is moving? If the fish should start to stick in the very beginning, if you jerk the pan, uh, like I did, it will break free and it will still leave that nice presentation that you want. Okay? Let's get it just a little hot, so we're going to take it away from the fire for a minute. Because the fish, we want a nice brown on the fish, a nice crust, but we don't want it to be burnt and we have to cook the fish through. Now, the fish, uh, We'll cook through it. It'll take, a, it'll take a little bit of time, but it won't take too long. And this takes practice to know when the fish is done, but it's not that difficult. Uh, and I'll, point some, I'll give you some pointers on that. So we're putting the back, back, on, the, uh, back on the flame. And we're going to let that cook. So, I had the opportunity to have Dover Skull when I was in uh, the Netherlands and they had just taken it out of, uh, from the docks out, it just came off the, the boat and this restaurant. And I had had Dover Skull here many times in this country, but there is a difference getting the Dover Skull right out by any other fish and then going to the restaurant in a matter of hours and then preparing that fish, you know, and then eating it. It's just unbelievable. Dover sole, there's, you see filet of sole on the menu. Dover sole is actually the true sole. It's the one that's really a sole. The other is called sole, but it isn't as true as a fish as this one. So you'll notice that there is some, uh, you'll start to see some of the, of the uh, 
albumin, the, the, the protein, which is really part of the blood, right? It's coming up. You can see it starting to turn red there. There's a kind of an invisible line that comes down the fish, and you're going to see how that works in a minute. So we're going to turn this fish over. I turned the, the uh, temperature down on the fish so that it wouldn't burn. So we're going to have to let that cook for a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that fish and transfer it to a plate. And then I'm going to take each one of these fillets off. This fillet and that fillet, all in one piece. And then I'm going to put, put them on the plate. And then I'm going to do the same thing uh, on the other side. Okay? And, uh, uh, and then you, that can be served uh, to a guest. It's been taken, it's fried, it's been sauteed. Uh, we're going to pick it up and we're just going to sit it here on these paper towels real quick. You don't have to have any special tray. But we're just doing that to get some of the uh, clarified butter off of it. We're going to put more on it, but we, we just want to get some of that off of there. It's not necessary, but uh, uh, I, we're going to do it. And then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to fillet the fish. down this one line, okay, and it should come off, if it's been prepared right, it should come off pretty easy, you can use a knife, you can, you don't want to, you don't want the fillet to fall apart, if it does, it's not the end of the world, but if you were serving this to a guest, you certainly wouldn't want the fillet to fall apart, okay, see how easy that's coming off? This is one of the easiest fish to make sure that there's no bones in because of the skeletal structure of the fish. And I'm going to point that out to you when we get to the get to the finish with this. Okay. So we have this nice clean plate. And we're going to put this fillet on here. Now, like when I was talking about earlier about being in Holland, uh, when they do this, they do it table side in front of the guests, and they have little heaters that they put on the on the table because they'll serve a couple fillets and then they'll put the side dish on the plate and then they'll go back and take the other fillets off and then they'll push it. They'll put them in that little heater and they'll sit the heater on the table. And then that way the fish doesn't get cold. So we're going to flip this over. We're going to do the same thing on the back. One stubborn bone, it just doesn't want to fit. Put that on there. Accidents happen, the idea is to make sure that you fix it so it doesn't look like it's happening.
space. So now we're going to finish. We're going to finish this with the sauce on it, which is the veneer part. You'll notice that when I pick this fish up, the bones are very thick. Okay, they're the thickest bones you can find in a, in a, in a small fish, I mean, any fish, and they come across, real, come out real easy. So it's real easy to fillet. It kind of looks like the cartoon where the cat's taking the fish bone out of the trash can. Okay, I don't know if you've seen any of those. Maybe it's because I'm old, but that's how they do. I'm going to get rid of this. And uh, be ready here in a minute. So what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to throw in some lemon juice and a couple tablespoons. And immediately we're going to throw in some parsley. So we want the parsley to fry up a little bit. And we've got the, the veneer, the brown butter, the Miller's white, the, the flour. And that's really all it is. Then you immediately serve this over top of the fish, and it doesn't look like it's going to taste good, but it's absolutely going to be one of those most unbelievable surprises that hits your palate, and it's so simple. And of course, if you're doing this, if you do this a couple of times, you can do it a lot quicker. We're doing it for a video, so it took a long time. And then we're just going to put, make sure that there's nothing on the plate. We're going to put just a little parsley there to make it look nice, and then we're going to serve it. And as my friend Julia Child used to say, bon appetit. 